Kia Lara here, also known as Scrappy Care. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and here on YouTube. Uh, this week was my birthday week. So week eight um, is a lot of photos about my birthday week, but it also started with a scrapbook camp over um, at a nearby campsite called Lakeland Park, and it was run um, by my friend Carol, who is um, sort of our team leader for um, Close to My Heart. So she put together a camp and there was, um, I think around 38 of us, 39 of us there, uh, and it was a fabulous weekend. So I'm documenting that too, but that still fits with that kind of celebration theme. So I'm using the Cake Day collection by Close to My Heart, and this collection, um, you can see some of the papers there that I've already used for other pages, um, but there are also some Picture My Life cards, and I'm mostly gonna use these in um, today's um, sort of page and as I'm following on from the page that I used in week seven which had the two four by sixes along the top the three um, four by threes um, down the middle and then the, another two four by sixes at the bottom I am just sort of laying this out on my cutting mat so that it's ready to put together so I love the colors of this collection it's a new collection for this month um, well this is the feature collection this month but it is one of the new collections that close to my heart has put out in their new uh, idea book so um, the photos that I've just popped up the top there, there's a candle and sort of on the lid of that candle are some earrings that my husband gave me for my birthday. There are um, a basket of snacks. Um, I've done a layout, layout recently that I think will show on later today probably. Um, where teacher meetings at the end of a day of school can actually be uh, quite hard. And so to make this a little bit easier, um, our team now has some a selection of snacks and drinks just to keep um, our energy levels up as we um, go into these meetings or during the meetings. Uh, the team loved this concept and a few of them went away to add to the snack basket that we've got hidden away ready for our meetings. Um, so at the moment in phase three of the red traffic light COVID protection framework in New Zealand. Um, we are still able to work together at school. We are part of, we're considered essential workers. So um, if the school is unable to provide cover um, for us, if we are having to self-isolate because a family member is at home, um, with COVID, we can get rat tests and continue working, but that only has to be a last resort, apparently. So they have to have tried relievers and class splitting and all sorts of other things. So the photo that I have just matted there is a photo of myself that I took on my 46th birthday. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to document that day somehow. And you'll notice that a few of these picture my life pages have got photos of myself uh, just wanted to include me in some albums so often my photos are of other people or places that I've gone to and not myself but this is a good place to sort of put some of those selfies in from time to time so again I'm just trimming down some more of this paper so this is from the cake day collection <laughs> love the spots um, they just seem to have a really nice um, feel to them and lovely colors so I after making this layout I did actually use a lot of these to create a birthday card so um, I did use it for its intended purpose uh, the layout that I'm sharing later today as part of a sketch response is one which is using these papers but for a non-birthday page so check that out later on when it is made live so the photos that I'm just sticking down there so the four photos in the middle the four little ones are of on my birthday so we went out for breakfast which was lovely my daughter brought me lunch at school um, because I hadn't been at home for breakfast so I hadn't made my lunch uh, my husband made not one but two birthday cakes um, and my friend Mel dropped a lovely little package in at school. Unfortunately, I wasn't there by the time it was dropped off, um, but it was a lovely surprise to open up the next day when I got there. And the photos that I'm just popping in to the left um, 
popping down onto the left there are ones that are of my morning walk so one of the sunrises and then the other one is a sunset over at Lake Plum Park where I sort of um, crashed a photo bombed into a photo that Carol was taking uh, of the sunset so enjoying some beautiful skies at the moment as we come into autumn and today or the day this is going to be shared is the first day of autumn for 2022 here in New Zealand. So I'm happy with how this is looking. Um, I actually really enjoy the smaller photos. So that was four to one, four by six printed on my selfie. Uh, but I like that I can include a few more on the page than if I just had the bigger photos. And this works when I've got lots of photos, but I think that as um, busyness hits or things go on, um, I will have less photos to fit in. So I'll be able to use more full size pictures. So I'm just adding some journaling notes to the different photos because they're not all specifically about my birthday and there's a few more details that can be shared along the way. Um, I wanted to sort of have a bit of a record now. I'm not a diary keeper. Some people like my nana and my gran have amazing diaries that they've kept um, for, their, for a long, long, long time. Um, and... I'm, I've tried from time to time, but I'm a good starter, but not a very good finisher with these things. So these little notes and diaries and this sort of weekly thing is quite a cool way to keep track of what's going on, um, things that are happening, um, just some of those, some of those things that go on. Um, and it's sort of a visual diary, which appeals to my um, love of colour. So I'm going to use these foam alpha and I looked to see if I could do week eight but I couldn't so I'm just going to do the eight in the foam alpha and then I'm going to hand write the week. So um, these are still available I think they're a clearance item with close to my heart rather than in any of the current catalogues or idea books. Um, so yeah, definitely worth getting. I have inked these up at different times, changed the color, stamped on top of them, so give them a bit of texture. Uh, so there's lots of things you can do. So now I'm just going through the cake day sticker sheet and seeing what I can add to make this page look a little bit more interesting. Uh, and I found quite a few. There's some nice love hearts, um, some cupcakes, uh, and yeah, so, um, pull out a few of those and some different points to pop on the page and then uh, I'm also going to grab um, some of the dots that you can see up to the top right there and I'm going to put them around at a few different points too. So I love the uh, acrylic dots, the colour collection, um, I think Blossom, I think it was Blossom, um, last year um, the Easter collection had my sort of my favorite range of colors and the dots and those were just beautiful but loving the brightness um, of the cake day dots so this is week eight um, I hope this has given you some ideas or uh, encouraging you to create something thanks for watching